We are rolling. Okay, hi. Um, this is SketchUp once you open it, and it's a very powerful, very popular program. It used to be free. I've been on it for 20 years professionally and teaching with it. And this is a city, and what I wanted in this exercise is for you guys to respond to one um, type of city in here and configure these container cars, the most popular big construction thing on earth are container cars. There's something like a billion of them or something like that. So we're taking container car and we're designing a city. We're pretending like, you know, it's Mad Max, you know, a bunch of things broke down and now we got to rebuild society with solar and generator and, and, and gardens and things like that. So we're doing um, basic, um, uh, basic forms. So within this, this is SketchUp. Um, once you pop it in, two fingers help you scooch in. And I have it on where I can show this. This is your palette. You should have this up. Um, hi, Manjay. Hi, Professor. I'm sorry. I just saw it now. I'm still driving. I'm still not home. I just came from work. Oh, so don't, don't risk uh, accidents. Um, I just I stop by the street. I say stop by some place okay. in the street. Okay. Good to meet you. Um, okay. Here is our city. If you <clears throat> open up through the program a couple of those files, I have this one in your file, in your SketchUp file, and you hit O for orbit, it, you can move that around with your finger and take a look. Doesn't that look cool? So what we have here is a city we made last summer. Um, the students and I in this same class about a, a site for 40, 50,000 people to live in container cars. Up here is your object select tool. So we select that and we see that I have grouped a bunch of these container cars. I'm trying to keep this down to um, a memory limit. So Panther Creek is this landscape. Um, you've got some container cars and you can do what you want with them. Um, you can explore the other um, explore the other files if you wish, and this is called a massing exercise. If you're not familiar with architectural school, usually at Stony Brook, there are a lot of STEM students there who think there's one way of doing things. This is like this is like doing ceramics. This is like skiing. This is there's no one right way to do it. I just want you to have the confidence to do it. Okay. So let's look at this structure. We now know that this is grouped. You see a blue bonding, bonding box. So I go Command C. I'm going to copy all of that. And I'm going to Command, excuse me, Command, excuse me, Command V Paste. And there it is. There's something that came in that way. So let's look at that. Let's scooch up Command key R allows you to scooch this way. So you're like a sculptor. And like a sculptor, there's no right way. There's absolutely no one right way. And again, it's like skiing. A, a beautiful skier goes down a hill, not afraid of the danger, not doing science in his or her head, just going down the hill and then saying, ah, oh. it, it, it's a bit of swagger too. You have to have a bit, a bit of swagger to do this thing and look at all the things. So let's go to uh, O for orbit again. Look at this thing. Go into this. Of course, some is up in the air, not too. But I have these container cars here, three stories high. A, a human scale would be, you know, this scale, and some of them have open areas. So this is like sculpture. But let's go to. You can't see this. I'm going up to um, edit, and I am going to go to group, edit group. And ta-da, we have this structure. It whited out. You, uh, we see my shadows are on this in styles. He, styles is very important. You have select. I like this one here, one in style builder competition winners. I like this one here, one, two, three, four, that one. And you have to add a shadow. Edit, you can add color back into it by adding uh, this one, but we're not going to do that. So styles is important. Um, shadows, I think, are, hold on. Uh, 
shadows are important. As you can see, I added shadow settings, and that's under that's under Windows and View. So what you do need is this large um, toolbox here. So um, this is the object select tool. What you really need for the boot camp are this one. You don't really need this. You need paint bucket to add color to things. Don't You don't need erase. Sometimes you need pencil. This almost never. This a lot. The square you can use a lot. Forget, 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 forget. Um, this cool uh, tool allows you to move um, your selected, blue bounded selected object. So let's do that. We'll select here. That's that cluster. I'm going to move the, the, I call it the scooch tool, but it's another name. Let's bring that one down. So it's massing with these, these guys right here. Let's turn around. I hear my fans go off, so I hope I am not going to get throttled. But in case I do, I'll be back. Um, so we look at that and like, huh, interesting. Just like sculpting gang or just like doing ceramics. Let's grab this one with the, oh, Colin, you have a question? Yeah, sorry. I just, um, I, I came in a little late. I didn't see where you where you found this. I, I've just been going through all the, the SketchUp models trying to find it oh um yeah that, that was actually my question too okay it should be um look in each one i did i provide two or three there for you in your files there's like a lot like 50 <laughs> 50 does one say panther creek copy do a, a search on that and you can make it up from scratch. I'll show you a version of making this up from scratch too. Once you once you spend half an hour with this program, I taught my five-year-old nephew this program in like 30 minutes. Um, it's really pretty easy. Um, did anyone find that? Did you find the... My problem is I cannot get into the program. I tried to I tried to sketch up for like three, four days ago, and I just cannot get it. It says the admin doesn't let the permission or something like that. Okay, let's break that down. Um, you have 30 days. You also have the ability to have the screen version forever. So you can do all of this from the screen, but you're going to have to bring in files from SketchUp Warehouse. Um, so there is a workaround. Menje, what, uh, let me go through, it also depends on the type of your machine. What machine do you have, Menje? I, I have a Mac, MacBook Pro. 13 inch? Yes. Cool. So that should be able to have it. Victoria, what kind of machine do you have? I have a MacBook Pro. That should do it. Sarah? MacBook Pro as well. Cool. Colin? Yeah, same here, MacBook. Got it. I'm working on the 16 inch, which is has a bigger graphics card, but I used to do this all the time on my 13 inch machines. So it should work. Um, let's see if I can do Safari. Let's bring this up. Here's your, thanks for putting your, your um, stuff in your file. Let's go to my drive. Uh, class one, do, 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 sketch up models for exercise. Here it is. Oops. Come on. Let me double click that. Um, container house sketch up future city. Let's do this. Um, uh, what do we call it? Panther Creek. Let's go to Panther. None of them is opening for me. I don't know why. <laughs> I just see that picture over there. That's the only thing I see. Hold on. Can you can take any you can double click on any of these container cars. There's a lot of let's see if they have Panther Oh, here we go. P Pod Home New House Panther Creek. Um you know what? I'm going to do this um um it's not moving around. Let me save this. 
Panther Creek copy two in desktop. Here it is, and I am going to put it in the chat. Let's see if it goes through. Three megs. Okay, now you have it. So pull Panther Creek off and start to play. Play like a sculptor. You know, that's the best metaphor I can think of. Um, all right, so I went in there. I had bounded that whole thing. Um, I'm going to deal with this notion of slab city. Um, command key one makes us look over the top of it. Command key R makes us scooch that around. So looks, let's look where that one went. There he is over there. So I'm going to uh, click off of that, click back onto that, use the scooch tool and scooch this guy over here. So he's part of the massing. This is in architecture school, this is called a massing exercise. It's very intuitive. It's like making ceramics. It's like making sculpture. I don't know if you guys had a, a fine arts background or did it in high school or whatever, but that's the closest thing. Command key two is underneath. Command key three is kind of a version of the side, but let's bring it down to look at the side. Kind of cool, huh? Bring that little hand down. There's our structure hanging up there. I don't know what that is oh it's a little person hanging up there let's get rid of her I click on her. oops she's masked with something else so what do I do I go into edit group edit group grab her delete her she's gone she's gone and now we're back on this structure I'm responding and in dream cities you can respond to any of these these archetypes of cities you want to and I just need to build your skills as as Stonybrook students to build in the CAD realm and not totally depend upon um, uh, just talking and reading you know that's not part of the thing is to do these things so I want to build more slabs I have all these people living in these things <clears throat> they've raided Elizabeth, New Jersey, and they have all these container cars. They put them out in the woods somewhere. They have gardens over here. Let's start making higher density type things. Um, I'm going to copy this, and let me just like flower arrangement, let me put it right here. And again, I'm going to use my scoot. I call it scooch, but it's the object move tool. Click once, move it down, click twice. Um, there it is. Look, command key one, we can look down in it. I hear my fans go off, so we might have trouble here soon. But let me uh, paste again. And let me show you something. Hopefully this works. Let's go to the rotation tool. And we have to use a reference structure like this. Click once, pull it out. We basically want it rotating 180 degrees. Click again and rotate. Oops, come on, baby. I want these sides parallel. Click and let's use the move tool, object move tool. And you can click on a surface and bring it back here. Let's align that again. It's all like sculpting. It's not, it's not a science. It's not quite an art either, but it's definitely not a science. Um, let's look at that. Does it, oh, cool, man. Um, so I see little garden areas here, little barbecues here. I see, you know, maybe a little park over here for kids, railing, stuff like that. Just start, you know, it's not quite like dollhouses, but kinda. Um, so let's take that as a massing. Uh, how much time do I have? Oh, yeah, I'm up to two gigabytes, so I'm going to be careful not to get throttled. Um, shift, click, and I want to group that. So I do Command G to group that. And now I have this mass. It's That's why it's called a massing exercise. I have this mass of objects, and I'm, we're making a little city. Isn't it fun? Um, and so that's massed together the thing. I copy it. And I paste it again over here. Let's see how that looks. So now my buildings are, see that one's up in midair, not quite cool. 
so I scooch it down so it's in. Uh, when uh, my dad's an urban planner, so I've been doing this since I'm three years old, you know, putting around these buildings and see where and how and what and when these buildings make sense. Um, uh, and I don't know what you guys want to be when you grow up, uh, uh, you know, nor do I. So it's, it's good just to pick up skills, you know, on this thing. So that's, kind of, we have to save, save quite often because otherwise it's going to crash out. Um, let's see, command one from the top again. And now this city is pushing, I don't know, 20,000 people, maybe. Um, that's right there. Let's do another couple. Um, we have this, we will copy that. So I see a little park here. I see an, a public area for a park. I see a little park or garden here. I see one over here, you know. Um, definitely see one here, or maybe we de ultimately design a road that comes in from this area. Um, it's a vertical city. How many saw that movie Ready Player One or whatever? And then everyone's living in these like stacked up trailer homes. It's sort of like that, okay? Sci-fi. Um, paste, let's put one in here. Let's go to the side. Yeah, it looks, looks about right. There's a little valley area here but I kind of like what it's doing for an image. Make some screen captures. Um, Shift Command 4 allows us for a screen capture. And there's things underground here, but as you can see, they're probably, yep, that's all connected. So I'm just gonna leave them underground. It's This is a quick massing study. Um, and let's turn it around. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look here. Um, it's there. Let's put another massing slab over here. Let's keep it up in the air a little bit. Make it tall. Was that our tallest? Yep, pretty much. Here's something up in the air. Let's clean that up a little bit. Just, just a stupid question. No, Professor. go ahead. Where do you get these pieces from to put them over there? To, I mean, I see that, you know. They're, soft, they're in your yeah. files? Okay. We'll do that in a second. There's a wonderful, wonderful place called SketchUp Warehouse. And all I, I want to... I saw that one. What? Yeah. I, I saw it. I saw the file. Let's go there. Uh, um, hold. Shoot. Um, all right. Uh, massing studies for architecture. I've, all right. Let's go. This wonderful site, SketchUp. This is the biggest assets online. Sketch up warehouse. Go there. And here it is, gang. Um, going there. And we t look at look at the, there's tens of thousands. I have students designing motorcycles, designing Lamborghinis, designing all this stuff. But let's type in container car. Containers container house we could go there and get some some ready-made house let's go look what that is and here they are that's sweet and then when you like it just download it you know um, and then it comes in these things add up though so watch how how uh, oh yeah and this is products let's go to models look at that look at that all this yeah, stuff with stairs are yeah. ready for you it's beautiful. I, I geek out on this. It's like so amazing. Um, I've just purchased a house in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and I'm going to do some uh, design work on it. Look at this one over here. Uh, download. Um, so I'm adding to my desktop. I usually download that to my desktop. <coughs> what else? This is cool here too. Let's grab... <coughs> That's kind of, what What can we actually stack? We could stack this, but watch your memory, gang, because they all add up. Um, this one's kind of cool. This is low in memory, I can tell. This is super low in memory because you, we don't have all that detail. I think I use this. So Manje, this is answering your question. That's how I got it. But let's... Okay. Let's go to, maybe you guys want to start from scratch. You don't want Panther Creek. There's no right way. I would, I would love, love it if you guys went like, hey man, I'm taking this off road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do so my own thing. Scratch. 
What's that, Colin? Let's go from scratch. Here goes. Let's download container. This this one right here. Put it on our desktop. Ooh, you know, this looks low poly, so let's grab that too. Grab that. And untitle down. And um double click on that. This is our version warning. There it is, straight from SketchUp Warehouse. Here's a little road into it. There's a little roofing on it. It's probably, here's a little open park area. There we go. So uh, Colin wants us to actually start from scratch. Let's grab all of this. Uh, your object select. I selected it. Let's grab the road. No, let's not grab the road. Um, let's go copy and let's go new. And here this woman shows up with every new one. So she adds human scale to the whole thing, right? So let's, this is all what you're gonna do when you add new, is open this up. So let's paste that house and see how she is affected by human scale. There it is. Um. So here she is, it's, it's done. Um, and what I want, and kind of cool, Let's go over to shadows. Make sure your shadows are on. See shadows add a lot. And let's go over, there's someone else coming in. Uh, all right, uh, let's go to styles. Um, styles, make sure you're in select. And you get all of this in models, assorted styles, color cells, default styles, photo modeling. I have a version that does photorealistic rendering. It's very cool. So you can actually change your room and show your roommate how you're gonna change the room or grow up and become architects. I don't know if anyone's interested in that field, but it's, um, I always turn to Scott, Style Builder Competition winners. And the one I have a preference for because it looks like sketching is one, two, three, four. Pencil edges with whiteout border. Let's go. Boom. There we are. But, and remember, keep your tool board open, and that should be on Windows. Um, oh no. Did I stop? Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> Gang, I got throttled with making the movie of this. Too much memory. Um, so, let me do it again. For what is the O you said, Professor, uh, before? You said you, you click on the O on top? O, no, um, yeah, O for orbit. Remember that, O for orbit. Okay. And then you move it around like a sculptor. Um, for the sake of the other people, let's go to QuickTime and let me do... Is there anywhere to get like a list of the uh, hockeys? Yeah. Um, there's some really good short, just remember, command for everything, command one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then, uh, command, write this down really quickly, command R for this little hand, and you can move it around, um, this tool is, I forget what the command is, but you can move that or you can move the, you click once and move the whole object in the space. Command nine, allow, I'm not gonna do it, but allow, watch this, command nine, and these little handlebars show up. And that's scaling, you can scale. Uh, and that's, see, it showed up right there. Command nine, um, rotation I use a lot. Let's continue. If you want to build this, I build sets and, and do scenography for theater and dance and film and whatever. I use the tape tool and the dimension tool, but you don't have to use that for this. Um, orbit is uh, O. Um, never, 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 if you add notes. This, uh, I can pan the object. Uh, never, never, never walk through your thing. I don't know. Um, look around, yeah. But sometimes I use section plane. And these tools down here are tools I bought. For a, a $50 or $100 more, I bought those tools. And they photorealistically render this, this model. 
so we could take a look at that. Uh, you you won't have that addition on your thing, but it's a it's a powerful yet intuitive tool. All right, so let's continue with this. Um, um, Oh, styles. We're in styles, but you, as you can see, our color went away. Our color select went away. Let's do orbit. Apparently, I'm still recording, but hold on. It might have died. I'm not sure. I'll continue. Um, it's good you guys are here. Um, let's take this select. You can see that sort of dotted, blue dotted thing. You can delete that and get rid of it. Select, delete, select, delete. So select, delete, select, delete, select, delete. And now we, we have our little woman here. So she gives us a sense of scale, kind of like a dowels. And we go back to edit. One, this is why I could teach my five-year-old nephew this program in 30 minutes because there's not a lot of words to this program. So you have to live in it for a little while to kind of figure it out, but you'll feel so empowered. It's so nice. All right, let's go to this second thing, uh, front color, back color, and let's go one, two, three, four. Let's go to the fourth one here, style. Click that back on. We got a color again. So remember that. Second one in, and then... Uh, I'll screen capture this and then um, I have no idea that I get my fans are on but I probably died with the recording because SketchUp SketchUp takes a lot of memory a lot of memory processing memory so start small um, usually I have my students in the regular semester make um, jewelry make rings and brooches and things like, and then they can 3d print this stuff too so I teach 3d printing on campus also and a lot of Stony Brook students love that stuff. Okay, so let's get styles out of here. And let's go to our select. So it's command key one. We're on top. We see our woman there. And let's do some massing studies with this as if this is a little town, part of urbanism. But what I want to do first, gang, hey, Elaine, um, is um, actually command G. Watch when I go command G, which means group. Command G for group, go, boink. That blue, bio, the, the, you stop seeing the dots and you start seeing the, the total blue bounding, like this. So now this is a complete unit. When I have my, I, you're, you're all invited to Italy. I teach this in Italy too. And we go to the Ferrari uh, factory for study abroad and we study pulling apart a Ferrari to under, cause I teach design, understand what are the components, what are the parent-child relationships. So with this tool, you could design games, you can design um, houses, interiors, sets, anything, you can 3D print jewelry, you can do anything, super powerful. Let's copy that, here's our little woman, and we could copy her, give her some friends, but let's do this, paste. So let's do a massing, all right, let's do a massing like this. So let's put it right to the edge like that. Uh, command one, take a look. Um, cool. And But now I kind of want these two things to face inward. And gang, for me, you can just do these. You can go to SketchUp Warehouse, grab a couple of these, do your massing studies and go like, I'm done. You know, all done with this exercise. Copy that, back it way out, scooch it up and paste it but you know they're facing one way i want them to face each other and create a public space we read a lot about public spaces in that book so i go to rotation tool click once click twice now take it around i hear my fans go off so we're really pushing the memory um now click that again there's our little woman Click that, but I want a public space. So now they face each other. Let's go down to her level and take a look. Um, and this is fun because you can see the shadows covering her, but you we can uh, change the shadows. See that? Oh, the other side. <laughs> so we change the shadows on that, and it's in October. Let's do it summertime. 
like that. Um, oh, okay. Um, I thought it was another student calling in. Uh, so move it around. And it's cool. You know, I want to enclose her a little bit. So here's what I'll, I'm going to do. And this is, again, a massing study. I'm going to enclose her on one end. So we make a little community, like a little co-op type thing. So let's paste that again. Um, let's rotate it 90 this time, facing in. Let's scooch this over. Scooch it, click once and scooch. And let's do that there. Let's separate the other so we don't have a monotony of styles. And let's make a little alleyway on one side. And let's make a tiny little one on that side. It's okay, we gotta call it something, otherwise you'll crash it. Um, um, co-op. This is, we're designing a slab style co-op house. Boom, doing it. Um, so let's go O for orbit. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so it's enclosed on that side. There's a little park area where maybe kids, we're gonna put up railings, you know, do that, but you know, we're not gonna have kids play up there without railings. But what we've done is something interesting. And move that around, and there she is. Uh, uh, scooch that over. Um, you know what? Click off to click the blue bonding box. Let's give her a friend. Copy, paste. There's her friend. All you have to do is copy, paste. Pretty cool, huh, Victoria? Just zap it in there. Um, you, there's even people online, so you could go get people. You could do, I mean, if you come back to me, gang, and say, hey, I got wild. I'm not using your files. I'm going to find my own files on, on the warehouse and really geek out. Geek out. This is an important, important skill. I don't know. A couple of you are in the medical profession. This, um, I have students designing kneecaps now. They photogrammetrically photograph it, and then they have to somehow tweak these kneecaps or body parts or whatever. So CAD and 3D and photogrammetry and all of this is extremely important. And I'm sad that Stony Brook does not have a lot of courses in this. I, I teach it. Look at that. That looks like a cool little condo. I can see kids moving through that. I can see you guys design a garden in there. And I see with the book, with this book, you can take the book and go like, oh, you know, this is, um, this is, for me, I like this notion of slab cities, but this is also habitats. So we've, res you guys responded to this notion of habitats, you know, like 60s architecture. I used to live in Tokyo and Seoul and Singapore and Rome and all these cities have variations on that. Let's get this going like this. Let's get on the level of these two twin sisters. Click off of that, move our shadow over and move our tools over a little bit and move you guys over a little bit. And what I wanna do is shift command four and take a shot. Because for your blogs, I want you write a couple blogs about this. Hey man, this was fun, I did this. You know, I'm doing these massing, architectural massing studies and, and all of that for this stuff. And with this, we can sort of go through our little town and look at, you know, here's a family living here, family living there, whatever. We, we oops, move it around, you know, all of this back out. Um... And there it is. Let's do another screen capture. Command key four. And let's screen capture that. Isn't that fun, Manjay? It's super fun. Sarah, isn't that fun? It's very fun. Uh, when you do the screenshot, then you're gonna paste it to the file or what do you do with you the can, screenshot? You put those in your, in your files for me. 
Okay. So I so I know you're doing it. Again, there's no right answer. If you if you guys want to go to the warehouse and just grab what I want you to do is grab the stuff and start sculpting it. You know, almost like dollhouses. I don't know if you all play with dollhouses or had hamsters or gerbils or whatever. You know, it's it's like that. Um, but it's super fun, and it uh, you know I found it gives another dimension to this class and dimension to Stony Brook classes because we. We read and we talk, you know? We don't do anymore at Stony Brook. And this is, if you take my other classes, we're gonna be 3D printing. We, now they can 3D print houses. So you guys could be living in future 3D print. I've been to Dubai, and Dubai they were building 3D full-scale houses. So you guys conceivably could design your house and design this habitat and go you know i live in brooklyn of a, a starting price of a house here is a million point two it's insane it's i just came insane. back from brooklyn you did I came back from, yes i was just in brooklyn because we do have an office i had to cover one of my uh co-workers right. that we, we have an office in uh, i work in mignola i live in queens then i was in brooklyn four o'clock in the morning wow I just so here's yeah. here's my point um, for this urbanism class. It's by practicing this makes you think more than just, you know, I'm a big reader. I read 30, 50 books a, a year, but that's only reading. You know what I mean? To do, it, it sort of gels in your mind. Ah, especially you young doctors, people going, I've tr I train a lot of pre-med students. Somehow they come to my class and they, it's like you need to see form after a while. You'll be dealing with bodies. You're not dealing with paper. You're not just pushing paper along. And the, these sorts of programs help you get into that um, sort of training. Let's do command one. Um, and, you know, we start to understand the real implication of this class, which is three things. It's um, urban design. It's COVID. And it's your stories online, the three of them together. How do they weave back and forth? With um, situation in Brooklyn, a one bedroom apartment near Jamaica is starts at $250,000. That's criminal. A typical house, on, all of you are on Long Island, a typical house on Long Island starts at 500K. And and we will never. It does, Colin. Five hundred k. No, I mean I was just shaking my head because it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I looked all over all all over um, Long Island to uh, purchase a house after this COVID. And and it is criminal right now. I know of architects have this housing complex on Long Island City in Queens. The apartments at those big new skyscrapers are going for five thousand dollars a month to yep. rent. So once we understand, my theory is to be critical of that. Once we have the critical readings on that through this course, once we know how it's done through SketchUp, that we have these two pictures. We can do it ourselves. We're not going to accept these prices. We're going to live wherever we can afford living let alone have a family or have kids or whatever have a marriage where you live with someone and we can start to understand how space in the postmodern era is defining what we do you know race class gender nationality any other identity thing i contend is all goes back to space use you know and this sketchup starts you start feeling like you have another vocabulary i think I've been doing this since I'm small because my dad's an architect, so it's like easy for me. But architect, I teach design. I'm one of the few designers on the Stony Brook campus. And design is that realm between arts and sciences. It's not a science and it's not an art. It's design. And I, I find that incredibly stimulating. Incredibly stimulating. So if you want to pursue design, let me know because these are not only future skills, these are high paying skills right now. And especially those going into the med profession, these are uh, crucial because we're, we're photographing things and turning it right away into mathematics. So there it is, gang. Any questions?
just one quick question have you ever like this not designed your own like theory of like a house and like try to build it you know <clears throat> with like all your knowledge yeah question the answer is yes um i've written two books on the subject and um i can post the pdfs online we're going to do a book on that too like how to design the right way of living i don't know as i said this is nothing well very little to do with identity and a lot to do with space use you know where, where wherever you are dubai or singapore or seoul or rome or new york it's it's we are people going through the same things um i just purchased a house in bridgeport and in 40 years it's you know my beach is 400 yards away and 40 years the beach is supposedly going to be 10 yards away um i'll be dead but um uh, it, it's it, by doing this we can think of the legacy of what we're giving to young people how we can use these tools and so forth if anyone i don't know what you want to be when you grow up are, are how many of you are stem students science techno what are you sarah i'm a bio major but i haven't really decided what i want to do with it yet pre-med are you pre-med no okay just bio colin what's your major Do you have it, Colin? What's Sorry about that. Um, I'm a sociology, European history. I don't know what just happened, my bad. Okay. No, but this is important for that. Uh, Menjay, what's your major? I'm actually an andrology, so I'm a study clinical lab science, but higher degree. And um, yeah, I finished that one, then I probably gonna go to bi uh, biochemistry. Oh, very cool. That's definitely a realm you're going to be using this CAD stuff in. Victoria, what's your major? Health science. Cool. All right. So this is one of the few classes on I teach VR, AR, all these new forms and try and screw around with it before someone tells us the rules to it. There are no rules. So there are no rules of putting together the city. There's only high. Uh, Aylin, what's your major? Um, health science. Cool. I always get a lot of a, a lot of pre med students who love this stuff, and uh, you know they contact me years later when they're doctors, and say I've been using photogrammetry. I've been using CAD. You were the first guy who taught us all of this stuff. You know I had to go to Stoller to learn this stuff. Not even engineering taught me this stuff. Whatever. So um, everything applies. Um, Alan, we went through this. And any other questions? Uh, for you guys, just go to the warehouse. If you don't have to deal with my files, there's no one read. If you if you go to the warehouse and see something cool, download it, screw around with it, glue it together, you know, and and work very intuitively. Turn the shadows on, turn the colors on, um, uh, put some people in it. I don't know, you know, have some freedom. I'm giving you freedom here. Um, to to explore and this is called massing which is another word for saying freedom too um, so have some fun um, if I'm sad to say I might not have um, recorded everything for the other colleagues but I hope um, I'm open for this in case you want more of these um, uh, synchronous things because sketchup was tough to get into i'm sure you can just putz around the youtubes are great excellent youtubes on this um sketchup i've been on sketchup for 20 years it's been around for since 2002 um and a lot of very popular with the architects to think and deal and form and move and whatever car designers whatever real fast um and so forth so is that it gang yeah let us go you know i'm gonna go home and i start to work if i have any questions i'm gonna yeah you. give me questions i'm here to answer questions again i'm gonna tell your colleagues just go to sketchup warehouse download some container cars have some fun you know make little doll make little hamster houses i don't know do it all right team i hope that was good thank um, you so much professor thank you for your thank time you. see thank you see you in in zoom land okay see you thank later you. Thank you.